what's going on everybody and welcome to another vlog i hope you guys are having a great start to your weekend as for me it is a gorgeous day out here in michigan it's already about 65 degrees out here for the first time ever it kind of feels like a late spring weather out here almost like early summer a little bit here we'll just have a little bug there anyway like i was saying you guys it is a very gorgeous day out here like i said it's like 60 something degrees out here very gorgeous weather we have not seen anything like this all year long so uh, but this is only the first day of it, so eventually as we go in further into the month of May, we are going to see weather turn out to be more like this more often, and uh, hopefully some 70s as well here in the next maybe few weeks or so. Um, might as well just enjoy this day while it can because um, it is supposed to cool down again in a couple days, but not for a very long time. So I hope you guys are having a great start to your weekend. If not, let's go ahead and make this awesome for you. And in case you guys are wondering where I'm at, I'm back at that foundation where I found the first snake of the year last week. So, uh, yep, right around here. I came out here earlier today and to go look to see if any snakes or any reptiles were out here and I was surprised I didn't find one snake out here and it's very gorgeous out here you know I thought they'd be basking out here out in the open whether it's on the road or on the foundation here on this where this trailer home maybe was at one point but um uh, I just had to come back out here for a second time and maybe we'll find something out here because now it's getting to the hottest time of the day so um like I said let's go ahead and uh let's go start looking now okay so far I don't see anything under here so, yep, nothing. Now, this was the spot where I found the snake, that first snake of the year last week, so. Sounds like a squirrel doesn't want me around here. <laughs> Alrighty, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and check this little piece of tin right here. I found some snakes under here in the past, but so far I've had no luck underneath it already this year. And, nothing. Just as I was thinking. But don't worry, I got a few more spots to check out, so uh, this day is far from over, so um, day two of herping, so let's go ahead and go find some more other spots to check out. Alrighty, you guys, so it's already about two o'clock in the afternoon, and um, I came back to this mound right here, and you probably remember a couple years back, I found the first two snakes of 2018, believe it or not, and those two were green snakes. Well, I just came back to this spot just a minute ago, and guess what I just found? If you don't see him, he's right down in there, right right there. Just a tiny little fella right there. The first smooth green snake of 2020, you guys, and this is the second snake of the year. And it's a pretty looking one too, for sure. So, um, I'm wondering if there's another one close by, cause this same spot, strangely enough, when I came here looking for some snake, the first snakes of 20, 2018, there was one green snake about close to this, coincidentally, at this exact same spot, but also nearby, I noticed right along that tree right there, that big tree right there on the ground, there was another one sitting in the sun too, maybe a good, maybe 10 feet away. And um, believe it or not, that was actually a pair of mates. So I think I may have interrupted, interrupted their timing, so. Uh, that's why I am looking around right now to see if there's any more green snakes out here. So, um, so far I do not see any, but I gotta go ahead and grab a hold of this little monkey before he takes off. So let's go ahead and get him. And you guys could probably notice like the wind blowing. He's sw he's like bobbing his head. See how he's bobbing his head right there? The way he's bobbing his head. He's trying to mimic the wind. Like he's acting like a piece of grass. And sometimes they're also known as a grass snake. So. I'm gonna go ahead and grab them. One, two, three. Ooh, yeah, you are a pretty looking one. Hi there, bud. You are pretty. Oh, you are really calm too, surprisingly. Good to see you back out here in 2020. And yeah, like I said, you guys, this is the first green snake of the year, so this is so cool. Um, I, I don't know what to say right now. I'm so excited right now. So how you doing bud? You have a good night of sleep? <laughs> I don't know, but this is just such a pretty neat looking animal you guys and um, in case you're wondering what these eat um, Strangely enough these guys are Insectivores I meaning these guys just eat bugs and other vertebrates. So mainly they'll eat crickets flies um, Even spiders at times as well. Oh, you're okay, bud. You're okay. Uh, he's a little stressed out, but that's okay. I ain't gonna hurt you, bud. So, um, that's really cool. One thing I like about them, and this is like, and it looks like this might be an adult male, I'm guessing. 
um, but I don't know for sure. So, but really guys, this is about as big as those smooth green snakes get. This is just like an adult size right here. So they are really small, very gentle. They don't even really even bite at all, to be honest with you. They'll probably musk on you. That's mainly the only thing they'll do. So, but this is such a neat looking animal here, without a doubt. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a couple pictures of this cute little guy too. So welcome to 2020, you cute little monkey. Well, oh, look at him. He was bobbing his head. Let's see if I can get that on camera too. Look at that. He's bobbing his head along the wind. That's so cool. This is what, that's one of the things I love about these snakes, you guys. They're so awesome. Cute little guy for sure. Alrighty. Just snapped a couple of pictures of this cute little guy. I'm gonna go ahead and now put him back where I found him. Uh, so, alright bud. Hope to see you again soon. Stay safe and watch out for danger. Look at them there. Like I said, you guys are really docile like this. He doesn't like slither away so quick like any other snakes, like garter snakes or water snakes. So, yeah, that's one snake today down. So, hopefully I can spot some more, which I probably would not surprise me if I did. So, um, already found the first snake of the day. So, let's go ahead and keep looking for more. Alrighty, you guys, I'm back at the house now. It is feeding day for my girls, Lucy and Ariel, so we're gonna go ahead and feed them their dinner. Lucy, of course, you guys know before, she eats like pinky mice, of course, which is really the best meal to give her because of how small she is. And this, of course, medium mouse will go to my girl, Ariel, because she's obviously a lot bigger. Um, it looks like my girl, Ariel, she's just like taking a little snooze right there, but once I give her her meal, her meal, she's gonna be de definitely turned on. As for Lucy, she's already out on the parole, so she probably already knows it's feeding day, so let's go ahead and give them their dinner. Already, Lucy already knows her food's coming because she's already right at the edge of the glass here, so are, are you hungry, girl? Oh, she knows what those tons mean. She knows it's dinner time. Alrighty, let's go ahead and give it to her. Yay! Good job, Lucy! <laughs> yeah, she was definitely hungry for sure. Alrighty, girl, let's go. I'm gonna just go ahead and leave her alone and let her enjoy her delicious meal. Now it is Ariel's turn, so now she's sitting, waiting. Alright, girl, you hungry? Oh yeah, she's definitely interested. Oh! Oh yeah, that was awesome. I was hoping she would do that. That's what I wanted her to do when I was shaking it. That is so awesome when she does that. Way to go, girl. Gara, you being a good kitty today? Can you say hi? Say hi. Huh. <laughs> you talked to me earlier today. This cat these last few weeks has been kind of a spoiled brat because every time I leave my bedroom door open, he literally will go right, jump onto Lucy's cage, and then try to go on top of Ariel's because he's like super duper duper curious of what they're doing up there. But right now, I guess he's kind of a little lazy right now, but I try to close my do bedroom door at night when I go to bed because I don't want him doing that kind of stuff because really, these, those are like screens up there that, um, with his claws. He's got pretty big claws and uh, I don't want him to actually like rip like the screen off, you know, because then that could be a problem, so. But in the meantime, though, he is still a cute cat, but he could be sometimes a little stinker, so. But... Right now, uh, we just ordered a uh, dinner, actually. It's gonna be arriving here in the, in the next hour, so. Um, fingers crossed, hopefully they can find our address, because um, last time someone had a hard time, but really, they have new employees coming in, but it's no big deal, so. Um, anyway, I just wanted to give you guys an update what Begara has been up to these last few weeks. So, uh, something weird happened the other day. Um, the other day, we tried to order pizza for dinner from a local uh, pizza restaurant in town called Pizza Patch. And um, for some reason, when we tried, we called them about maybe four or five times on both cell phones and on the landline, and it 
there was no answer. It was just like no connection at all. It was weird. And then so we figured, let's try again the next day. So this was yesterday. We decided to call them up again. And for some reason, this time, the next day, it worked. Someone answered the phone. And, and um, you know, it was weird. And um, so anyway, we just placed the order for delivery. And um, so what I'm trying to say is, is that it was weird that um, yesterday, um, for some reason yesterday that the phone line was working for him, but the day before when we tried to call him, it did not. So, but then again, my mom mentioned though, a day before though, our landline for some reason was not working. You know, like there was no, like, there was no way we could connect anyone on the landline. And we were wondering if that had something to do with, at their, at the pizza restaurant, we wondered it had something to do with that. So. That probably makes sense, so that would explain why the, the other day they didn't there was no one on the phone, but yesterday there was, so, but, eh, I guess it doesn't really matter now, because what matters is we did get the pizza, um, hopefully, uh, this doesn't happen again, because, let me tell you, my mom, you guys, she does have some patience, you know, which, it's, it's fine, you know, um, I'm really a patient person, you know, and um, I tried maybe like two or three times, you know, no answer, and uh, I just basically gave, gave up the other night, so. Uh, we tried again yesterday, and it worked, so. I don't know what the big deal was, but uh, hopefully that doesn't happen again. Okay, so it is getting a little darker out here, and it is getting a little chilly for some reason. Uh, but can you explain to me what this is? What in the heck is that? I just found that in the ground. What the heck is that? Looks like a turd. Anyway, that's not what I'm here to talk about. Um, I just want to go ahead and wrap this up for the day, you guys, because um, there's really not much going on with this pandemic still going on, but hopefully we can get it over with. Um, the governor has put out saying that stay-at-home order is supposed to end until go on until the end of May, so I'm just praying that we can hopefully get back outside and enjoy the outdoors, um, hopefully soon. Though she did say also some or like bars, casinos, and other stores are supposed to be still closed until May 28th. So um, I know it sucks, but there has been a lot of people that have been trying to do. I don't like getting involved with politics, like I said before in the last vlog or two. Um, people were protesting at the state house. Some of them were even carrying, they said, guns inside the state capitol, and they had to put, call the state police actually to uh, take care of the situation. And uh, block from people getting in there so um, I thought that was not a really smart thing to do bringing guns into our state capital that is like that is like terror that's I, I don't want to say it I almost said it but I don't want to so at the meantime I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this vlog up here for the day I hope you guys I guess enjoyed um, seeing me actually go back outside oh, and the winds picking up all of a sudden Ooh. Uh. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this vlog up here for you guys. If you're new to my channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button for me because I notice actually more about close to 90% of you guys that watch my videos are not subscribed to my channel. Do that for me. Smash that sub button and hit that like button as well. Here's going to be another list of vlogs that you guys want to go ahead and check that out as well. And I have a second channel actually. You guys can go ahead and subscribe to that as well. I'll put it right up here if you guys want to go see that as well. Um, do me a favor. Um, if you guys are also under that stay at home order. Do what that order is told. Stay safe out there. Stay strong. We will get through this. And I promise I'll see you guys next time.